The MiG-29 was developed to meet a Soviet Air Force requirement for a lightweight multi-role fighter. It was a Soviet response to the American F-16. The 9-12 prototype made its first flight in 1977. The new Soviet multi-role fighter was approved for production in 1982. The type entered service with Soviet frontal aviation in 1986, replacing the MiG-23. With its stunning maneuverability, the MiG-29 re-established the Soviet Union's reputation as a producer of capable combat aircraft. This fighter is known in the West as the Fulcrum. The MiG-29 was built in substantial numbers. About 1,600 fighters of this type were built. Most of them, about 900, were exported. After Russia, Ukraine is the next major operator with six regiments, including Fulcrum CS. Other operators are Azerbaijan, 16, Belarus, Bulgaria, Cuba, Eritrea, Germany, Hungary, India, Iran, Iraq, Kazakhstan, North Korea, Malaysia, Peru, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Syria, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and the former Yugoslavia. The MiG-29s serve primarily as air defense fighters. All operators have small numbers of MiG-29 UB-2 seat conversion trainers. The MiG-29 was assigned dual air superiority and ground attack roles. This multi-role fighter was also tasked with tactical nuclear strike. For this role it carried RN-40 nuclear bombs with a blast yield of 30 kT. Incorporating an advanced aerodynamic design, the MiG-29 has AN-019 pulse Doppler radar, NATO reporting name slot back, as its primary sensor. This is allied to an infrared search and track for passive tracking of targets. The basic MiG-29 has proved itself as a formidable close-in dogfighter. The pilot has a helmet-mounted sight to cue missiles onto an off-bore sight target. The very agile R-73 missile remains widely viewed as the best close combat air-to-air -air weapon. However, the MiG-29's primary beyond visual range weapon, the R-27, Western reporting name AA-10 Alamo, is no more than adequate. Furthermore, the RD-33 engines suffer from low maintainability, and the MiG-29 is also handicapped by its lack of range and endurance. The latter parameters were addressed by an improved 9-13 variant allocated the NATO reporting name Fulcrum C. This featured a bulged and extended spine, which houses both fuel and avionics, including an active jammer. Commonly nicknamed Gorbatov, Hunchback, this variant was built alongside the standard 9-12 MiG-29s. To address the shortcomings of the baseline MiG-29 the Design Bureau developed two radically improved variants. Both the MiG-29M and Naval MiG-29K fell victim to fierce spending cuts after the Cold War and their further development was halted. MiG MAPO chose to pursue more limited upgrade programs for more immediate application to Russian and export baseline MiG-29s. The MiG-29S upgrade was applied to a limited number of Russian 9-13 MiG-29s, the first phase introducing provision for underwing fuel tanks. It remains unclear if further phased improvements were applied. These included a doubling of the war load, provision for in-flight refueling and an upgraded NO-19 MP Topaz radar with simultaneous dual-target engagement capability. The radar would have given compatibility with R-77 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missiles. Such features were subsequently offered for export MiG-29s, along with Western navigation and communications equipment as well as a bolt-on retractable in-flight refueling probe. The standard export MiG-29S was known as the MiG-29SD for 9-12 airframes and as the MiG-29SE when based on the 9-13 airframe. Malaysia's MiG-29NS are effectively MiG-29SDs. While these versions were marketed as air superiority fighters, the MiG-29SM stressed its multi-role capability with TV and laser-guided air-to-surface weapons. At some point the Russian Air Force was upgrading over 159-13 MiG-29s to a standard comparable to the MiG-29SMT. 9 to 17 
this first full standard prototype flew in 1998. The upgrade was planned to include an N-019 Me or MP radar, a modern glass cockpit, greatly increased internal fuel capacity, RD-43 engines, improved serviceability, addition of an IFR system, and increased combat load. Not all of the features mentioned were planned to be incorporated in the first phase of the upgrade. The MiG-29K is a shipborne multirole fighter. It entered service with the Russian Navy in 2013 alongside with the MiG-29 KUB-2 seat conversion trainer. These are operated from the Russian Kuznetsov aircraft carrier. Some time ago India acquired from Russia a former light aircraft carrier Admiral Gorshkov, but in a modified and upgraded form. In 2004 an agreement was signed to refit this Russian ship and sell it to India. This deal also included 12 MiG-29K fighters and 4 MiG-29KUB conversion trainers. In 2010 India ordered additional 29 MiG-29KS. The MiG-29K entered operational service with the Indian Navy during the same year. In 2014 the refitted aircraft carrier was commissioned with the Indian Navy as the INS Vikramaditya. Some sources report that Russian MiG-29 aircraft were heavily affected by corrosion. These aircraft were typically stored outside in wet and cold Russian climate. In some cases non-airworthy MiG-29 fighters were put to storage, stored outside, for decades. This made situation even worse. A proposed successor to the MiG-29 was the MiG-35, Fulcrum F. This multi-role fighter made its first flight in 2007. It is fitted with more powerful engines, and also has new radar and new avionics. Though the MiG-35 received no production orders. Since around 2013 the Russian MiG-29 SMTs were replaced in service with the Su-30SM multi-role fighters. It seems that the Russian Air Force no longer uses the MiG-29 series fighters. Some sources report that by 2022 the Russian Air Force operated 87 MiG-29 fighters of various models. Other sources claim that there could be up to 240 of these aircraft in Russian service, including inoperable aircraft that are in storage. By 2022 Russian Naval Aviation operated a total of 24 MiG-29K carrier-based fighters. During the recent years MiG aircraft manufacturer was facing financial hardship. Currently no new MiG series aircraft are being produced. Recently only Russian Sukhoi aircraft manufacturer is getting orders for production of new fighter aircraft. The company only services existing aircraft. In 2021 it was announced that MiG Corporation will sell 60 hectares of its facilities in Moscow. MiG-29 MU-1 is a Ukrainian modernized version. The MiG-29 MU-2 is a more recent Ukrainian modernized version. Upgrades began in around 2018. Upgrade price was around $3.6 million. It took around 9 months for Ukrainians to refurbish and upgrade a single aircraft to the MiG-29 MU-2 standard. First upgraded MiG-29 MU-2 was delivered to Ukrainian Air Force in 2020. In 2022 during the Russian invasion in Ukraine, Ukrainian MiG-29s were widely used as air superiority fighters. Some were even fitted with the US AGM-88 Harm anti-radar missiles and were successfully used to destroy Russian air defense systems. Many of Ukrainian aircraft were destroyed during this war. On the other hand it seems that Russia was not using its MiG-29 fighters during the conflict at all and instead used much more capable Su-35 multirole fighters. This could be due to the obsolescence of the MiG-29 and its limited capabilities on modern airfield and in air combat. So there was a situation when Ukrainian MiG-29 fighters could detect Russian aircraft at a range of 120 km while their missiles had a maximum reach of 60 to 80 km. At the same time radars of the Russian Su-35 fighters could detect Ukrainian aircraft from several hundred kilometers and their missiles had a reach of 150 kilometers.